What's up everybody, this is Suhiel with the Angeles Brand. You may not be Carmelo Anthony, but I can sure show you how to flip these legend blues into his player exclusives. What's up everybody, we're back again with a different exclusive here that we haven't done. Uh, it's actually one of the more requested shoes that people have been asking about. My goal on this video is to try to teach you guys exactly how to make this shoe a good looking quality custom, but actually be wearable as well. Preparation on the patent leather is key, okay? A good custom will only be a good custom if you can actually wear it around and, and it won't have any problems cracking. So the first thing I'm gonna teach you guys about this shoe is how to prep the upper portion here, the patent leather, with wet sandpaper. I'm just using here, this is a 320 uh, grit wet sandpaper. The gloss is kind of like a barrier between your paint sticking onto the shoe or not. and wet it, or you can use a wet sandpaper as it is, which is dry in, in the first place, and just go through the whole shoe and just sand it all down. On the Jordan 11, there's two crease spots that I want you guys to know about. It's along this line right here, and this line right here. If you miss those two spots, it's almost guaranteed that paint will not stick there. So make sure you sp uh, spend some special time or take some special attention to that portion and that portion there, that's the two spots when you're walking, it creases, okay? So make sure those are prepped right. And then what we'll start doing is introducing the uh, leather preparer and deglazer. Just take a clean microfiber rag here and start cleaning off the upper, again with the patent leather portion here. What deglazer also does is strip paint, right? So if you're about to paint this guy and you have something that's preventing paint from sticking on there, it'll make the bond weak. So let's make sure that the deglazer is completely dried from this portion um, before you start to get to the next step, okay? We've hit the upper patent leather here with a 320 grit wet sandpaper. After that, we blew off any excess dust or dust particles on the shoe. Uh, then we continued to use a deglazer to clean off any other excess particles and, and get the surface ready for paint. And we're going to move over to the next step, which is getting this guy taped. I'm going to mask off this bottom portion here. And the top portion here as well and we're going to hit just the patent leather portion with some adhesion promoter. Uh, we need something to help the bond between this patent leather, which is plastic right now, and the paint that we're going to apply to it. So uh, we put adhesion promoter on here first. We let that settle out. We just do three light coats or so, nothing crazy. Uh, give about five to 10 minutes for each coat to dry, and then we're gonna start painting the actual shoe. So let me show you what paints I chose, guys. Today I'm using the Fire Red, and I'm using a Tahitian Pink. My ratio on this here is about, I'd say about six to one, meaning six parts of red to uh, one part of Tahitian Pink. Also introducing Too Hard into the mix as well, okay? Too Hard helps parts that are plastic, uh, anything that's rigid or, um, you know, that's a material like this, it helps it bond better. If you guys did seven parts of this, for example, then you also need to do seven parts of this. So it's like a one-to-one -one ratio here. You know, with that said, this is already mixed. I'm going to put a little bit of too thin in it because I feel like uh, it's, it's a little thick. It's on the thicker side. Too thin's job is just to help the paint go through the, the airbrush. So I just want to make sure that it's, it's well mixed. And this is a very important piece, guys. You guys need to have a strainer for this or something that will help strain the paint. When you apply this paint onto the surface of the uh, patent leather, you want to make sure there's no imperfections or dust particles. 
paint, pigments, anything of that nature, it needs to be taken out from the paint before you actually apply it on the shoe. If it's not, then what you end up doing is you'll shoot all these little dust particles, all kinds of little pigments onto the shoe and that patent leather that you had that's nice and smooth right now, it's gonna come out rough, okay? And we don't want that to happen because you're gonna have to take additional steps. You're gonna have to sand all that stuff off or, or somehow pick it off in order to maintain that smooth surface again. So that's why this little guy here is so handy right now. This custom takes a little bit longer than most customs do because you have to apply light layer after light layer. And at the same time, you have to make sure that your environment's clean around you where there's not a bunch of dust you know, flowing in, in the air where it can settle on top of your shoe. This is the first layer here. And what I generally do is I give this layer a good amount of time to settle out. So I, I would give it a good 20 minutes to settle out and dry on by its own rather than you know helping cure the process by a heat gun or anything of that nature. Uh, you know, just let it cure on its own, okay? This, this might be about a four or five layer process, but you know, once it's done, it'll have that nice um, cherry red kind of a, a feel to it. So if you see any kind of imperfection in the patent leather portion that, for example, it needs to be smoothened out, what you can do is grab that same 320 grit of wet sandpaper. You can dip it in water. Usually I dip it in hot water, warm water. I try to keep the shoe in reverse like this. And as I dip this wet sandpaper in, in water, I can sit down and, and smoothen out the portions that I feel need to be smoothened out. What you're trying to achieve is just to slightly take off one layer and smoothen out that portion. And that way, when you hit this guy with the, the high gloss sealer at the end, you'll have a, a perfect looking patent leather. All right guys, as I'm waiting for, for the Jordan to dry right now, um, I have an opportunity just uh, to jump on this jump man right here. And what I'm using right now, guys, is a little pointer here. This is a, a number two round. All right guys, I just kind of did a quick uh, tape up of the upper and what I'll be doing is I'll be applying this Angelus High Gloss uh, Acrylic Sealer. When you're shooting it, you want to make sure that you're, you're also shooting very light coats of this uh, and let each layer dry uh, appropriately. So I'm going to jump onto the last portion of this and that is to get this small little carbon fiber piece that's that's a legend blue color to look like this red piece here. This might be the easiest part of the custom, but this can also be the most tragic part of the custom for you if you're careless. And the reason I tell you, you guys that is uh, the, the dyes, they stain and they are very difficult to take out. So watch what I do guys, I just take very small light portions. You wanna be very, very cautious with this and take your time, okay? Because again, I've hit the icy midsole on accident before and there's no reversing that step. So we're gonna give this guy about five minutes to 10 minutes to dry. And then lastly, I'm just gonna hit it with this uh, high gloss acrylic finisher. This is the same stuff we use for the, the patent leather portion here on the top. And what it does is it creates that nice shiny effect that, that you have here on the carbon fiber piece. We got one more thing to do. Courtesy of my boys from Lace Lab, we gotta lace these guys up. My name is Suheel, I'm with Angelus Brand. My Instagram is at feelgoodthreads. If you enjoy my work, please follow me. 
and uh, look out for some more exclusives from us.